The disease is often painless and has no early warning signs. This makes a regular visit to your optometrist crucial, something 34% of Albertans don't do. So eye wide open, just looking right at that big E for me there. It's, it's surprising to me that not everyone has a regular eye doctor. You know, most everyone has a medical doctor, a dentist, a, you know, other healthcare professionals, but a lot of people really don't think about their eyes or their vision until they actually lose some of their sight. This is actually the optic nerve at the back of the eye and basically these are the blood vessels that are coming out there. Glaucoma is a condition basically where there's damage to the optic nerve at the back of the eye. And what the optic nerve does is it takes information from your eye back to your brain. Um, so initial damage causes peripheral vision loss. Um, but in those early stages, people often don't notice subtle changes in their peripheral vision. It's only when it really starts to cause tunnel vision and impede their central vision that people start to notice. They don't know the precise cause. Part of it is genetics. Part of it has to do with the pressure within the eye. Often with glaucoma, the pressure is higher than normal. Individuals over the age of 40 are more typically affected with it. It also can be associated to secondary to trauma or other disease as well. In order to detect glaucoma, we do a certain test, and these are tests that we do on everyone who comes in for any comprehensive eye exam. We'll check the pressures within the eye, we'll check the peripheral vision, and we also do a thorough examination of the optic nerve, again, to look for signs of damage. And often if we detect it in the early stages, people don't really notice any symptoms of vision loss at that point. So if it's treated, people can often live with it without actually having or noticing vision loss.